The first step, like usual, is to draw your letter. We have a large S in the lower right corner of the paper. Make sure you've drawn your S well, like we practice on our worksheet. Then trace over it in Sharpie and erase your extra pencil marks. Before you draw lines to the vanishing points, mark the corners that you can most definitely connect. I just have two at the end of the tail of the S. Then use your ruler to draw lines from those points to the vanishing point. Stop drawing if you hit the letter M. You can check the other two corners on the letter S, but if you drew yours like mine, you cannot draw a line without starting it on the letter, which means we don't draw it. To connect to the curve, you want to rotate your ruler from the vanishing point until it barely touches the top curve of the S. This is your tangent. This is the line you should draw. Now you just have to draw your parallel back edges. The end of your S is a straight line, but it's probably slightly diagonal like mine. Copy the angle of your S and transfer it to the back edge. For the back edge of the rest of the S, you want to try to draw what you have on the front edge only slightly smaller. That is your quote unquote parallel back edge. Take your time to get these curves just right, but once you've got it, trace those lines in Sharpie erase your extra pencil lines, and then add shading to really emphasize the three-dimensional effect and the curves on your S.